ओके सो फाइनली माई एन एफ टी इज लिस्टेड ऑन ओपन सी हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल यू वुड हैव हर्ट पीपल मेकिंग अ लॉट ऑफ मनी बाई सेलिंग देयर एन एफ टीज एंड इफ एट सम पॉइंट यू हैव ऑल्सो थॉट ऑफ डूइंग सो बट डोंट नो फ्रॉम वेयर टू गेट स्टार्टेड दैन दिस वीडियो इज डेफिनेटली फॉर यू एंड द बेस्ट पार्ट इज यू कैन डू इट फॉर फ्री दैट इज यू नीड नॉट पे एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ गैस फीस फॉर इट एंड इट्स सुपर सिंपल एंड यू कैन फॉलो मी अलॉन्ग बिकॉज यू नीड नॉट रिक्वायर एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ कोडिंग बैकग्राउंड नो पर्टिकुलर एक्सपीरियंस एंड ऑल्सो यू नीड नॉट डाउनलोड एनी सॉफ्टवेयर फॉर दिस so let's first talk about what exactly is this gas fee so gas fee is the transaction fee for using the network that you are trying to interact with for example ethereum or any other and this gas fee goes to the miners who process and validate the transactions on the blockchain and if you are not very much aware of the nft terminologies then you can surely check out this video first So today in this video we are first going to create our NFT mint it and then list it on OpenSea that is one of the NFT marketplaces and that too for free and I would highly recommend you to watch this video till the end to also know about the disadvantages of using this particular method so let's get started Let's quickly create our NFT artwork and in order to do that you can use any sort of tools available online I'll be using Canva because it's very simple to use so the dimensions for your artwork can be chosen by you I will use the dimensions of a YouTube thumbnail so now we are ready to build our design so I'll be making a very simple design for this NFT I'll choose a text some funky text okay so this looks good Let's choose this one and instead of it I will write unblocking chain. This is a bit big so let's reduce it to 200 and this is fine and also keep a background for it. Uh let's keep black. Okay, this looks classy. We can use this as our NFT artwork so I'll download it. So we are done creating our NFT so the next step is to mint our NFT on OpenSea. So let's head on to OpenSea. So on OpenSea the very first thing that we need to do is connect our wallet. So for connecting our wallet there are various options available on OpenSea like MetaMask, Coinbase, Wallet Connect etc. We for this particular video we will be connecting to MetaMask wallet. Okay so we are done connecting our wallet. Here you can see I don't have any amount in my wallet. So the very first thing that we need to do is we have two options. Either we can create a single item or we can create a collection. So if you want to create a collection, you can select my collections from here and create a new one uh, or if you just want to mint a single NFT, you can also click on this create. So when you click on this create, it will take you to this page. and here it's asking for us to upload our image or video or audio or gif any other thing but the maximum size that we can upload is 100 mbs so let's click on it and upload what we have just created this unblocking chain we can give a name to it let's give it a name okay unblocking chain neon text logo you can also provide an external link to it so this external link could be a website of yours wherein you have put more information about you and your artwork that you have created i don't have any so i'll leave it blank you can also give it a description i have written it already let me copy it from here and paste it this description will be displayed once you mint your nft i will show you where it is given uh, then you can also if there is already a pre existing collection of yours you can choose that collection from here now it's time to add some properties to your nft let's add some property let's put the background as black and let's add more let's type as text and also one more uh let's say color is neon and that's it i'll save it there are some other things that you can add like levels or stats that's not required for me so i'll not put it here there is an amazing option of this unlockable content so as i've previously told you that you can only put a nft artwork which have a maximum size of 100 mb but if you want your like whoever is going to buy your nft you want that person to get a full version of it not a compressed one in case your nft size is bigger so in that case you can provide that person an external link to your original artwork here so that you can do but here no, we are not going to do it and here the most important thing that you need to keep in mind is here you need to 
select polygon as your network not ethereum if you choose ethereum then you will have to pay as gas fee so i will choose polygon and here i can increase the supply uh, and make this nft a semi fungible sort of thing so that more number of wallets can own this particular nft but i'll keep it one here there is another option here which is freeze the metadata so what is meant by freezing the metadata so freezing will allow you to permanently lock and store all of this item content in decentralized file storage called ipfs so you won't be able to make any changes to it later if you choose this freeze metadata option which we can choose once we have minted it so let's click on create boot you just created unblocking chain neon text logo so our nft is minted and you can see all the description provided here so this nft is minted and here are some properties so the description that we had written is here and the properties is here and if you see the details here you can see the token id the token standard blockchain is polygon and the metadata is editable so now if we go back and edit this and click on this freeze metadata option then instead of what you are seeing right now it will look something like this frozen ipfs so you can choose this option as well so we have been finally able to mint our nft and you have observed that we did not have to pay any sort of gas fee for it because OpenSea uses lazy minting so it's basically a process in which nfts are created but aren't actually minted onto the blockchain until they are purchased or sent to another wallet so that's why we have not been charged any gas fee for it now it's time to list it on OpenSea. so for listing it i'll simply click on the sell button and here i can decide the amount so let's keep it 0.02 and you can decide the duration for it also so let's keep it as default that is one month and here is a fee so when this nft will be bought by someone you will get an amount which will be 2.5 percent less because this 2.5 percent will be charged by OpenSea. so if you are okay with it you can just click on complete listing and you will ha also have to unlock this currency if you're using OpenSea for the first time so in order to unlock you can just click on unlock and you will have to sign this via your metamask wallet so we have unlocked the currency now we just need to sign a message using our wallet okay so finally my nft is listed on OpenSea, and here you can see that the current price is 0.02 ether and if you will click on the link that i've provided in the description box down below of this nft you will also get a buy now option so we have been successfully able to mint our nft and you would have observed that we did not write any smart contract to do that because in the back end we were using OpenSea smart contract that was written using erc double one double five token standard to do that but there are some disadvantages of directly minting it via OpenSea or any other nft marketplace say variable though it is less chargeable because we need not pay any sort of gas fee for minting it but uh, the problem is if we use their smart contract then the nft that we have created will always abide by the rules of the smart contract written by them and it's a bit risky and for that particular reason it's always advisable to write your own smart contract and mint your nft via that so in the next few videos we'll be using erc721 token standard to write a smart contract and mint our nft on the polygon network so even if you have no experience in building the smart contracts then also you would be able to follow along those set of videos so stay tuned and do like share and subscribe to this channel if you find this content helpful see you in the next one